What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ojama Garrett, here with another video of how to be good at your job series. And uh, kind of the new thing I'm going to start right now, and it's uh, essentially, if uh, you want to be good at your job, I, I've been good at every job I've had, so the first thing I would recommend is that we uh, talk about a term called consistency. And I feel like it's kind of a brain-dead term, but if you click on this video, then it may not be uh, too obvious to uh, people what consistency is. So let me just shrink myself here real quick. And uh, we'll just talk about it a little bit. So consistency, what is consistency? Um, the definition of consistency is conformity in the application of something, typically which is necessary for the sake of logic, accuracy, or fairness, or the way in which a substance, typically a liquid, comes together for this viscosity. The dictionary definition isn't really doing us a lot of uh, favors here when we're uh, trying to figure out what we mean by consistency when it comes into job behavior. So. Essentially, consistency just means, frankly, doing the same things over and over. So essentially, that can be good and bad. So we have a neutral, and we have a positive, and we have a negative. And it kind of, consistency acts on all three of these, uh, these, uh, forgive me here, uh, all three of these, um, different modes. You have neutral consistency, which is if you kind of do the same things over and over again, you're going to get kind of the same results. Um, consistency positively is going to give you positive results, and consistency negatively is going to give you negative results. So why that's important that you should pay attention to that is because you need to start doing good things, uh, such as working out, uh, getting to bed on time, um, showing up to work on time, uh, trying a little bit, because if you keep trying a little bit, that little bit today isn't going to be a little bit tomorrow or the next day. It'll be incremental growth, so you won't even notice, but if you try a little bit every single day for a year, you're going to be a, a lot of it of where you were when you first tried to start. But if you um, consistently do bad things, the same things are going to happen, just in the opposite direction. So you're only going to make your life worse. Uh, so there's going to be not working out. Your body's going to break down. If you go to bed late all the time, uh, you're not going to. There's a thing that happens in your brain, I guess, if I remember correctly, that makes it so that uh, if you don't go to bed all the time, you don't flush all the cortisol or whatever calcification that happens to your brain. So then you have a harder time remembering things. So the, the longer you go without going to sleep on, like getting the, the correct amount of REM sleep that is for yourself, the um, the higher the likelihood that you're getting dumber over a long period of time, uh, making it harder for you to actually like make a dent positively in your life. So then if you keep showing up to work late, you're going to get paid less. So for instance, I used to show up five minutes late all the time. But if I take that times um, five minutes times five, that's 25. That's almost half an hour. Uh, so I'm getting paid 39, I mean five hours times 15. So that's 592. So if I take 15 times 40, I'm getting paid 600. So I'm taking an $8, $7.5 pay cut every week that if I did that four times, 7.5 times four, because it's consistent, I'm going to be losing $30 a month. And if I take that times 12, I'm giving myself uh, $360 just gone for free because I'm consistently doing a bad thing. Uh, so then if I don't try, then if I consistently don't try, I'm only going to get worse over time. So that that is essentially consistently broken down as fast and as easy as I can. Essentially what you want to do with consistency is get right here in the green. And you can do that by working out, going to bed on time, showing up to work on time, and trying a little bit. If you do all those things, you're probably going to be better than at least 50% of the staff that you work with right now. I, and I guarantee it. I've worked with a lot of different teams and all I did was try a little bit and it was very easily, or I was very easily uh, propelled ahead of 50% of the pack. So if you do those four things, just take a mental note. You don't even need to know where to start because if you say, I'm going to try a little bit today, your brain's going to have the answers of how you can try. When you, when you say, I'm going to try a little bit today, opportunities will pop up and then it'll be like, like a video game, like options will appear in front of you. Like I can try or not try, just try and not try. 
and that's that's it so i uh, hope you enjoyed this hope anybody uh, saw this is trying to make it short and sweet and try as nice and concise as possible and uh, like i said it feels kind of dumb saying this but if you click on this video you might be kind of dumb and you might need to hear this but that being said uh, I'll, I'll try to make these daily and i'm going to make this into a series so i'll see you tomorrow peace out good luck